Good morning, everybody. I am currently on the Eurostar. I had a very bright and early morning today because we are traveling from London to Rotterdam, which sounds wild because we're literally traveling from one country to another on a train, but there we go. Today, I'm also here with the London International Horse Show team for a press day. Um, we're gonna be heading to a very famous stables to meet some very famous horses, a world champion dressage rider and an international show jumper as well. So a lot is happening today. There's gonna be a barn tour. So I'll see you all once we've arrived. I give you a mic, Lottie. Welcome to Van Ols Stables, home to Olympic rider and trainer Anne Van Olst and base for dressage rider Lottie Fry. But before filming could start, I had a world champion remove a spider from Ooh. my hair. Oh no, he's going further. <laughs> Got him? I think so. Okay. It's like there's it. no more. <laughs> <laughs> no more fre spider friends in my hair. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to Van Ol Stables. First off, just want to say a huge thank you to Lottie Fry for very kindly having us here. We're also here with international show jumper um, Jody Hall McAteer and um, you, you later are going to be riding Joe, doing us a little bit of a demo um, and also you're going to be giving us a bit of a yard tour as well. Is it your first time here as well Jodie? Yes, first time awesome. here. Awesome, well thank you very much for having us. I'm excited to have a little look around. So Lottie, who do we have here behind us? <laughs> this is a special. He's a Hello. nine year old by Everdale and he's in his first year of Grand Prix um, and he's hopefully going to do a few of the World Cup shows this this winter. Oh, um, so a very exciting yeah. future I'm then. I'm going to ride him later for you. Oh, awesome. He looks beautiful. He is. Yeah. <laughs> he knows it. Yeah. He's like, get my good side, guys. <laughs> Lottie Fry is a British dressage rider and the reigning world champion, winning double individual gold at the World Championships in Herning in 2022, riding Glamourdale. Lottie also took team bronze at the Tokyo Olympics in 2021 and will be hoping to repeat her success at the London International Hall Show this year. Jodie Hall McAteer is an international show jumper who regularly represents Great Britain, including at last year's Nation Cup final. Jodie was also leading rider at the London International Hall Show and is one of the top under 25 riders in the world. But before we can meet the horses, we of course needed to say hello to the dogs. He's, just very he's about the same size as Duke, dreary. isn't he? Hello. Oh, he wants a bum scratch. <laughs> bum scratch. <laughs> he's, he's like Duke as well. We've got a little rescue from World Horse Welfare who's about the same size. Is and that he, a horse? Yeah. <laughs> And he like turns his bum to people and people think he's going to kick. I'm like, no, he's just asking for a bum scratch. It's his favourite thing. Welcome to the stables. Um, I'm going to show you a few of our horses here. Oh, wow. This is Lars. Oh, um, hello. <laughs> he's very, very cute. Um, oh. He's in his first year of International Grand Prix. Oh, exciting. Um, he won the three star in Compiègne this year and he was second in Arken. So it's a very big achievement. Oh, awesome. And yeah, he's, he's really, really cool. Oh, he's, he's so cute. He'll do a few World Cups this uh, winter as well. Oh, awesome. How long have you been based here then? Um, I've been at Van Oost for nine years now. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Quite a while then. <laughs> a long time, so Aww. it's basically home here. <laughs> Always looking for food. Yeah, that sounds like my boys. Yeah. <laughs> he's by Negro, who Aww. we're going to go to next also loves food yeah <laughs> that's a trait that runs in the negro family <laughs> we're just having a little a little carrot break <laughs> so tell me more about this guy lottie this is negro the king of the stable yeah um his blood is pretty much in every horse here and he is now 28 oh wow and he looks absolutely incredible he does not look 28 that is for sure he looks incredible he has this huge neck and he goes in the field every day and he's still breeding Aww. and yeah he has some incredible offspring lots of famous babies hey yes yeah <laughs> he's just like i'm so happy with my carrot <laughs> <laughs> he loves food Thank yes. you. So Lottie, here you have some of your yeah. younger horses, you were saying. Yeah, so this is a four-year-old approved stallion. Um, he's called Secret Lover, and he's by Secret and then First and Ball. Um, so he's a little bit of different breeding in our program, which is also really exciting to be able to mix it with our own breeding. And um, yeah, he's going to be really special for the future. Aww. He came um, third in the, in the Pavo Cup final oh, wow. this year. 
and I think he had 86 points. Oh, so nice. Very clever. What sort of age would you say you're like, oh wow, this one's going to be like special? <coughs> and <coughs> usually, <coughs> usually as soon as they're, they're backed and you see them in the arena, yeah. then you can see. Um, but yeah, he's also his, his character and his temperament is so good. He loves to work. Um, and he's so easy to train. I love his star. He's <laughs> very cute. So cute. Yes. And then we have another young one over here as well, you were saying. <laughs> yep, this is O Frederick. Oh. Um, he's by Four Romance, also four year old approved stallion. Um, and uh, he's also breeding. And oh, yeah, nice. he's, he's also going to be a very special one. Oh, you're gorgeous. Yeah. Would you say the same as well in like the show jumping world, Jodie, that around the time where they first get backed that you would say that you kind of think, oh, okay, this one's going to be a good one? Or would you say maybe a little bit later the show jumping? I think or... with the show jumping, you can definitely see if they can jump early on, um, but it's definitely harder to say when they're like three or four how good they'll be. It's normally more when they're seven, eight, doing the young horse classes six. Even. Yeah that you have more of an idea if they can go all the way. Oh, that's really fascinating hearing like the difference between the dressage yeah. world compared to the show jumping world. Hello! Oh, you've got a little wiggle snoot. <laughs> yes! Yes! So this is Jason. Yeah, this is Jason. He's a nine-year-old approved stallion um, by Johnson and then Negro on the mother line. And yeah, he's Aww. he's really one of, hopefully one of the special ones for the future. Yeah. Um, he's, he's pretty amazing. Oh. And yeah, the Grand Prix work is looking really special. You have lots of stallions. Do you prefer them to mares or? Uh, yeah, I do ride mainly stallions, um, and I I love that they they're kind of showmanship and yeah. they love to show off. They love oh. all this attention. Yeah. Um, and I ride one mare, and she's she's also great. She's yeah. so sassy, and she really <laughs> was that Prada earlier yeah, that we saw that in the field. Prada, oh. yeah. <laughs> she makes sure that everyone knows she's the only girl. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I do love riding stallions. Oh, <laughs> you're so cute, you keep sticking your tongue out. You want yeah. a bit of everything. Yes. yes, you want treats. So Lottie, we have a very special horse here. What are some of your favourite memories together? Um, probably my, well, I have many favourite memories with Everdale, um, <laughs> but probably my favourite one will be uh, in Tokyo at the Olympics. Yeah. Um, when he did three amazing tests and we both made our Olympic debut. Oh. And yeah, we had an amazing two weeks in Tokyo. Um, and also, well, I, I'll carry on with my <laughs> special memories. Yeah. <laughs> um, also at the European straight after the Olympics where we won Team Silver. Oh, wow. One special horse you are. Yeah, he is. And are you looking forward to hopefully Paris 2024 next year? Yeah, yeah, we are very excited about it. I think it's going to come around very fast. Yes. And um, I'm very lucky to have a lot of amazing horses, which we're, we're aiming for it. So it's exciting. Oh, best of luck. How big is he, Lottie? He looks huge. <laughs> he does. He is very big. He's 175. Oh, wow. Um, but he's, he's a very elegant type of horse. So when you're actually riding him, he doesn't feel so big. You're going to be at the London International Horse Show on the Wednesday and the Thursday. Is that correct? Yeah. That's right. And who are you taking? Do you know yet? Um, I'm planning to bring Everdale, oh. um, which will be very exciting. He was first there in 2019, oh. uh, which was my first time there as well. So oh, wow. it'll be very exciting if I get to bring him back. So the girls have gone to go and get their horses ready. So I thought I would come in here and do a sneaky little tack room tour because you guys know me. I love to go around professional yards and see what their tack rooms are like. And I think this is the first time actually I have ever seen baskets like this used at a yard. I love it. I, they've, they've got little seagrass baskets, things really organized. We've got towels, we've got tail protection, we've got straps, like that's cool. Also, of course, oh wait, there's some blingy, blingy, bling, blingy brown bands in here. That's quite fun, sorry. Got distracted, of course. Thought we'd have a little look around the saddle pads because you guys know me, I love a saddle pad collection. Thought we'd see what Lottie's favorite colors are. We've got a lot of colors here. We've got the fig, um, we've got a lot of purples, we've got the French rose, we've got some pinks and reds, we've got the chili. We've also got the champagne here as well. So lots of pinks and purples. Love the color choice, Lottie. Anyway, that is 
a quick little whistle stop tour of the tack room. I'm going to go and find the girls now and hopefully we can see them in action and riding. But before that it was actually time to take some photos because after all it was a media day for the London International Horse Show. We had actually a really big team of people there. We had people there from Horse and Country TV so it was really important to take some photos and get some content so because Lottie, Jody, and myself are all ambassadors for the show. Harry Charles is also an ambassador but unfortunately he couldn't make it so it was just us girls and we got some really good photos in the end. Especially as it did start raining at one point so we had to move from the outdoor arena into the barn but we also got some really good content there and Tot's Jody's horse was so well behaved. Jody, you pack very lightly to be honest. So this is Tots. He has been incredible today. He has been the London International Horse Show model. He's been modelling the rug. We've just done some photos. We're just getting him tacked up now, ready for Jody. You are gorgeous. You've just been the best boy. I can't lie, Joey would not have stood that still for the photos and to be tacked up in a completely new place, three hours away from home. Toss. You're a very good boy. It was lovely to see Jody ride, and if you would like to see her masterclass at the London International Horse Show, she's going to be there on Monday the 18th, and she's going to be talking about all things moving from ponies to horses, as well as giving you some top tips and tricks, as well as exercises that you can try at home on your horses. After that, it was such a privilege to be able to see a world champion train one of her up-and-coming dressage horses. While Lottie was riding, it was really cool to see some of the behind-the-scenes of the other media teams that were there getting content of the two of them. If you want to see Lottie compete with Everdale, then she'll hopefully be at the London International Horse Show on the Wednesday and the Thursday, which are the dressage days. It's, you can almost fit his whole head in there. Yeah, the nose is perfect. Yeah, he's got the long snoot. Yeah, yeah, all the way to Is there more? Absolutely as well. <laughs> All right, so I thought because, you know, the London International Horse Show is coming up. It's a show that we've all been to before. I was going to say completed that. I've never done that. That's your guys' job. <laughs> but I thought we would talk a little bit more about our favourite London memories. So for me, I remember the first time I went, I think I was about eight or nine, and I've been every single year since, apart from 2020, which we don't talk about. But um, yeah, I remember the first time I went was actually with my pony club, and we went on the um, train up there, and we got fish and chips on the train all the way back, and that was like a real tradition. It's kind of been like a, tr a Christmas tradition for me and my family. And also a big year for me was probably 2018. That was the first year that I kind of went as press with my job with the FEI, and I remember getting to go behind the scenes at the Stables and that kind of thing being um, yeah definitely a big memory for me so what about you Lottie? Um, yeah I have probably every time I've been there has it created a lot of memories for me and um, my first time competing there was in 2019 with Everdale um, and we were third there um, but behind Charlotte and Carl so oh, wow. yeah. that's pretty much like winning <laughs> yeah um, and yeah I remember the just the atmosphere in London is like nothing else yeah anywhere else you go in the world like London is the best um, and then I went last year and I took Glamadale and it was his first competition after becoming the world champion and yeah he was he was amazing there he loved it there Aww. I remember just before I went in for the freestyle I let my reins go to take off my headpiece and he literally walked into the arena and I was like no we have to wait, yes. we have to wait. Oh, and he was like I can't wait to go in like Aww. it was such a good feeling um, and yeah to to win the World Cup qualifier in front of a home crowd is, is a special feeling. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> and what about you, JD? I think probably last year was amazing being an ambassador and then ending the show as leading rider as well. My first year in the five star was amazing because I grew up kind of going to London. Yeah. Um, I Do first like ponies and exactly. Things. I first jumped there in 2010. Oh wow! Um, that was in like my one of my first years. years that I went to go and see. So, yeah. There we go. So. Every year since then in the ponies, we were really lucky. I've had lots of opportunities and 
one with Tixie Licks there and then two times under 25. So last year to go, having grown up watching it and wanting to be amongst them and to be leading rider was just a dream come true. Oh, well, here's to more amazing memories at London, hopefully this year. Um, I'm going to be also there on the um, Friday and also the Monday doing meet and greets. So if you guys wanted to come along, also if you're going on the other days, you can go and see Lottie and you can go and see Jodie <laughs> as well. So put some more um, information in the description below if you want to come along to the London Hall Show. So thank you so much, Lottie, for having us and thank you for coming. Thank um, you. From the other side of the Netherlands as well, yeah, Jodie. For, not too far today. away. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, thank you so much everybody for watching today's video. If you're new or have not done so already, please like and subscribe. It really does help me out and I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all next time. Bye!